Greetings, my name is Kevin Ike, Sales and Support Manager with BatteryGeek.net. Today we're here in Lake Oswego, Oregon, Battery Geek Headquarters, to go over the features and functionality of Battery Geek's Mobile Power Pack. The Mobile Power Pack is a compact, lightweight, external battery solution for your various USB compatible devices. Virtually any USB device can be recharged via the Mobile Power Pack, including cell phones, PDAs, smartphones, digital media players such as the iPod, as well as some digital cameras. Virtually any device that recharges via your computer's USB port will recharge via the built-in USB port on the mobile power pack. So let's take a look here at the initial specs on the battery, and then we'll go into the actual operation. The mobile power pack measures 3.5 inches long, it's 3 inches wide, and it's less than an inch thick. The mobile power pack is based on lithium-ion technology, just like every other external battery pack from Battery Geek, and is designed to give you the longest life operation. Um, the lithium-ion cells are tested to 500 recharge cycles, and uh, they don't experience any memory effect. Therefore, you can recharge this battery pack any time during the charge cycle without having to worry about lessening its longevity and overall capacity. Speaking of capacity, the battery pack itself is a 13 watt hour battery and it output, outputs 5 volts at 1 amp which is the uh, standard USB output virtually through any computer or any other USB charger. Looking at the actual control interface on the mobile power pack we see that we have a mini USB input which is where the battery pack recharges and it recharges through any USB AC charger or directly off of your computer. Next, we have the power switch, which will control the output of the battery. Also, it conserves the charge inside the battery, therefore you can have it in your pack for a couple of days uh, and then just use it whenever you need it. To turn the uh, mobile power pack on, simply switch the switch into the on position and you'll see that the power indicate, indicator light all the way at the end illuminates. In between the power switch and the indicator light, we have the uh, DC output and this is where the mobile power pack connects and interfaces with your various devices. The output is a type A female USB port like you would find on your computer and uh, to simply connect to virtually any USB device you can use either the supplied OEM cable that came with the device that you were um, you're trying to power or Battery Geek also offers a series of adapter tips and cables that come standard with the mobile power pack. So out of the box, we have the mobile power pack itself, and then we also have the user's manual detailing its operation. And then there is the USB charge cable, which allows you to recharge via your computer's USB port. Notice we have the mini USB out or switch and the mini USB connection, which goes into the DC input on the battery. And then on the other end, there's the standard USB uh, connector that will plug into your computer's um, USB port and recharge this battery. This battery pack recharges in roughly five to six hours to a full charge. In addition to this cable, we also have the DC output cable that allows you to connect to your various cell phones. The DC output cable will plug in to the USB output port on the battery. So to do so, we wanna make sure that the battery pack is on as indicated by the green LED and then just simply connect the USB Type-A connector into the battery pack. And then you have a modular uh, receptacle for your various adapter tips. Now as Battery Geeks develops new cell phone tips and uh, tips for various devices, we'll update our website at batterygeek.net accordingly. However, let's take a look here at one of the supplied adapter tips that comes with the mobile power pack which is also one of our most universal tips, it's the mini USB tip. To connect uh, the mini USB output tip to this cable, simply use the barrel style connection and plug it into the receptacle on the DC output cable. This adapter tip will allow you to uh, recharge virtually any uh, device that has a mini USB input. Many of the Motorola phones right now and also the Blackberries have uh, a mini USB input which will allow you to recharge. If your cell phone is set up and equipped with a mini USB input, then uh, this mobile power pack should be compatible with that device. Again, I recommend checking with our website for the latest compatibility, but uh, 
if it's, if it's charged via a USB port or if it can charge through your computer, you're 99% uh, likely to be compatible. Okay, so that's pretty, yeah, pretty much it. It's pretty simple as far as uh, what's included with the uh, battery pack itself. Now, let's take a look here at some of, um, some of the other devices that you can power in addition to the cell phones with that modular tip system. Um, we have an accessory available through our website, and it's a retractable sync cable that's um, compatible with your various iPods. This retractable sync cable allows you to adjust the length of the cable and then use the USB port to connect uh, power to your iPod. So you're going to simply plug in as such, and then you have the standard docking connector for your iPod. In this case, we have the uh, fifth generation iPod here, it's the iPod Video. And uh, the mobile power pack is compatible with most um, new iPods, well, and old iPods too, virtually every generation. And it is also compatible with the iPhone. As you notice, when you connect the mobile power pack to the iPod itself, you'll see that there's the charge indicator in the right hand corner indicating that the battery pack is charging, or, or is charging the iPod. As well, you retain all the functionality of the iPod. Now, when the mobile power pack is connected to the iPod, you're going to achieve an additional seven hours of video playback or up to 60 hours of audio playback um, with all the generations of iPods. 60 hours coming out of this battery pack. Comparing in size, you can see roughly the mobile power pack is the exact same size as the iPod. So now that we've seen how the uh, mobile power pack connects to the iPod, let's go ahead and look at some of the other ways that you can recharge the mobile power pack once it, once it is empty. When the mobile power pack is depleted, you will notice that the power indicator on the actual battery pack itself is going to begin glowing red. When it's glowing red, that means the battery pack is nearly discharged and it's time to recharge it. Therefore, you want to switch it over into the off position, and then you can use, as we mentioned before, the supplied USB power cable, or you can use any mini USB AC charger that came with your uh, cell phone. So as we mentioned before, a lot of the Motorola's, Motorola cell phones, they're going to be using the mini USB uh, AC charger to recharge the actual phone. That same, uh, that same charger is also compatible with recharging the mobile power pack. So that eliminates the need to carry an extra AC charger when you're traveling one charger will charge both of these. Now, if you don't have a, uh, a mini USB AC charger, Battery Geek also offers this accessory. And basically, it's a USB AC charger, very compact, plug it into your standard wall outlet, and you have a five volt USB output. So therefore, you would just use, again, the supplied cable, plug directly into the uh, five volt output of the mini USB port on the AC charger, plug this pack into the wall, and then connect with the uh, connect with the mini USB connection into the battery pack itself. This is another option as far as recharging the battery. So now that we've covered the functionality and the recommended way of operating the mobile power pack, let's highlight a few final points. The mobile power pack is covered by a full one-year warranty against manufacturer's defect. It also comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. The mobile power pack is available in two colors, either in the silver pictured here or also in black. The mobile power pack also has a couple of accessories that are available through our website. One would be the AC USB charger that allows you to recharge via any wall, wall outlet in case you don't want to recharge via your computer. It also comes uh, with an available accessory that would be uh, designed to recharge your iPod uh, with this retractable cable. This cable also acts as a sync cable for your iPod as well. Thank you again for your time and consideration in uh, looking at the mobile power pack as the best solution for your various USB devices. If you have any further questions, please direct them through our website to either our email address or 800 number. You can find those at www.batterygeek.net. Once again, my name is Kevin Ike, Sales and Support Manager, and I thank you for your time. Have a good day.